Hello, this mic, no stress mic.com. Uh, I'm in Mexico City and I wanted to show you um, the place that I'm staying at right now. And uh, here we'll just let you see a little bit. Uh, there's a bathroom. And uh, it's pretty decent. And then uh, I'm staying with some people. Uh, this is one room, got a kitchen and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're, they're just moved in also less than a week, so they're just now getting themselves all settled in. And, uh, uh, but anyway, I wanted to just kind of show you a little bit about that stuff. And then, uh, here's my room. Uh, I say I'm just temporary, so that's why it's kind of messy. And uh, I say they're still gathering stuff. And then uh, there's uh, the restroom. So it's not real, real fancy or nothing, but it seems to work. Just notice that my bike. I brought my bike, and then uh, come to find out, this place is so hilly. Uh, that, that you're not going to ride a bicycle here. So, but it doesn't make any difference. Uh, this is where you hang your laundry. And, uh, I'm really not sure where we're at. And you see it's kind of a ravine. It's, there's people that have fallen to their death over here. And then, uh, so we're right there on the edge. And it's real, real hilly and mountainous. There's a lot of dogs. And uh, the one thing One thing about this place, I probably better bring it to your attention. We are supposed to be the most dangerous part of Mexico City. Yeah, see, we even have a washer. A washer. That's how many families, I guess, live in this this area. And. Uh, the door you need a, a key to open it and you need a key to, to close it so that would have been kind of a kind of a unique thing that I've noticed uh, and you can see it goes up 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 and there is a road, and then on the other side of that road, there's more stairs, and it goes up, up, up again. Uh, the one thing, when you start living on the side of a mountain, I'm, I'm not kind of living on the side of a mountain. I uh, lived in Guatemala, and uh, the hotel was on a flat part of the mountain, but we still had problems. So, uh, living on top of, or on the side of a mountain, you're going to have problems. But there's a lot of people here. And like I say, it is uh, kind of dangerous. And I believe, I really believe it. Uh, one thing I've mentioned, uh, well, let's see. Now, I'm not, I'm not a, a big city kind of guy anyway uh, big cities are not safe uh, exception and it's still not safe but still in uh, when I was living in China uh, Chongqing I lived in Chongqing and I think that's like 20 28 million people so it was pretty good size and uh, but the thing is, it's it's communist, and under communist control, they pretty much 
they know how to do it. They keep tight controls. And uh, so that place was probably about the safest big city I've ever been in. And even at that, if you saw some of my videos when I was living in China, uh, I didn't know how to survive living in the city. And um, it was just under natural disasters. I, didn't, I couldn't figure out how to do it. You're at the mercy of the government. So anything happened, and it's the same thing. Everybody there knows if anything happens, you let the government take care of you. That's the communist mentality. So uh, that didn't really work out too well for me. But uh, I've been in uh, Caracas, uh, Venezuela. We hear about Venezuela. I was there when it started uh, in 2001. Uh, that's when they first started having problems. And I was there when it started. And that place was scary. Uh, I don't remember the names, uh, but... Uh, in uh, Honduras. At one time, uh, the top 10 most dangerous cities in the world, two were located in Honduras. And, um, uh, and I've been to both of them. Now, I will admit, those places, I, weren't, I wasn't there that long. Uh, I was not, every place that I go, most places that I go, I find uh, good people, happy people, moral people. And uh, there was a lot of problems. A lot of problems uh, in Honduras. And I don't remember what year it was. I've got videos on them. But the, the people were really terrifying. And uh, that, was, uh, that was in the cities, the two cities that I was talking about. But you get out of the cities, well, then the people were really nice and good people. But it was, when you're living in a bad environment, it's hard to be nice when you're in the city. And... Uh, uh, so, and, uh, voila. and uh, so it was a lot like that. Now, I understand the value of a dog. You see, there's a lot of dogs around here. You really need dogs. And uh, so not only, let's see, Guatemala City was really dangerous also. And uh, there was a lot of problems. Big cities. Uh, now, Topeka's not really a big city but it's got the big city problems that's the place where I shot the guy so and of course Kansas City but I don't know of any cities that would I would consider a nice place uh, if you got the money I'm sure in California, you find a good gated community to be in. You might call yourself a safe city, but it's really not. Uh, gated communities are gated communities. But, uh, and that's why I made a video talking about. See, there's a road here. And then there's no more roads now. Now it's gonna go walking. It's hard to get around. They don't have roads every block. It's really different. And that's what I was saying. Living on the side of a, of a mountain is not good. And Mexico City is a lot like that. But uh, 
trying to think of some other cities that uh, I've been in. And, uh, but anyway, I say uh, I, uh, the closest would be in China. But even at that, they don't report the crimes. So that's why you really can't say that it's, it's not happening. I know in one housing development I was uh, living in an apartment complex, the building right next to us had somebody got killed with a knife. So, uh, bad things happen in the cities on a regular basis. So I'm not just saying I'm going to pick on some certain city because they're all like that. Um, uh, the people, you have to be well trained to live in the city. In other words, you have to be willing to allow yourself to be policed and told what you can do and what you can't do. And if you don't do that stuff, you're going to be victimized. Kind of like me on the on the subway. You know, uh, I carry myself good. Uh, you know, I don't wear real flashy clothes or nothing, but you could tell that I'm, I might have something. So I say, oh, they were victimizing me. Uh, and uh, and then, like I say, the, uh, I made the video where I was making the video and some lady had her phone stolen right there in the middle of the daytime. So, you know, there's no safe places that I know of that I've been in, I'll put it that way, and uh, for in the city where you can consider yourself all blessed, I'll put it that way. But anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Uh, you know, even being, and I, um, I don't make videos. I make videos, but you know when I try to stay in one spot, because like I say, uh, you got to try to be aware of your conditions. And uh, up to like 10, 15 years ago, I couldn't make any videos because people got killed just by taking pictures. So, uh, no, there's, there's a system. And the system is not based on uh, right and wrong, morals, immoral. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything a lot to do with that. These are facts that you have to deal with when you live in the city and they think they can make laws and that's going to fix the problems and it doesn't uh you're going to have problems um I, and like i say now i've lived enough in the cities that, um anybody that lives in the city i really don't feel sorry for you whatever happens um you you should have figured this stuff out i don't know how much people got to tell you what to do you have to uh, you don't use morals to guide your life. You just have to use sense uh, not to be victimized. And when you see somebody get victimized, you don't get involved. You know, what kind of crap is that? You know what I mean? Just, so there's things like that. But, uh, that's why I don't feel sorry for city folk. Uh, you need to get out. You need to learn something, do something. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.